Good morning and thanks for joining us this midday. We've got clouds out in Springfield right now. It's 81 degrees with calm winds and those dew points in the 60s. We're increasing that moisture back into the Ozarks and that's going to set the stage for some rain as we head through the next couple of days. Again, we've got the clouds in Springfield, but we are tracking some showers that are up to the north and west in similar spots to where they were this morning on daybreak. A lot of this rain is light. We're seeing some really light greens on the radar, so that's telling us it's a light shower if that. Carthage seems some of that rain, Lockwood uh, this morning, some heavier showers up around Osceola and Clinton, Appleton City as well, El Dorado Springs. But uh, again, that's pretty much been the spot for some of these light showers getting clipped in the northern half of the area. And I think that's going to continue to be the theme as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Now, what's happening is, is remember, we've been talking about this unsettled pattern all week. It's starting to take shape here. We've got this front setting up to the west and you can see these storms go back all the way to northern Iowa. So it's taking this path along the front and pushing into the Ozarks here. Uh, for today, they're dying as they get into the Ozarks. We're looking at some showers, not really too much in the way of thunderstorms, but that will change as we head into tonight and tomorrow. As for severe weather for today, maybe our north and west counties get clipped by maybe some lightning or some 50 mile per hour winds, but it's a marginal threat and really focused up towards that Kansas City area. So if you're going for free ride day at the fair, looking at a couple of clouds out there, maybe a shower or two, that temperature at 87 degrees. I think that shower threat for Springfield is healthier earlier on in the day. Those showers should start to move to the east. Lingering clouds in Springfield with those temperatures in the middle 80s. So future cast showing some of those spotty showers trying to move their way east a little bit. Some middle and upper 80s today. Then we're dry until midnight tonight. After midnight, a storm complex rolls in from north to south and look at where it focuses to the west. That's because that's where that front is hanging out. So it's going to want to take that track. This will be much more widespread. It'll have heavy rain and lightning, unlike what we had this morning and especially along that I-49 corridor. And look at what happens through noon. They pretty much stay in the same spot, really focusing to the western half of the area near the front. After noon, we're looking at the storms becoming more spotty and more scattered. Those temperatures in the low to middle 80s. And and then we do all of this all over again Friday and Saturday favoring areas to the west because that's where that front is going to set up and set up that highway of storminess where we just get rounds of these storms to roll through again starting tonight into tomorrow morning. Then we're looking at Friday and Saturday the same things mainly the overnight into early morning for some of that heavy rain and lightning and that localized flooding threat that things become spottier in the afternoon. But with everything taking that same path every day with the heavy rain, that's where we set up that flash flood threat. The computer forecast having having an issue on where to put the corridor of heaviest rain. I like areas west of Highway 65 for this. Regardless, for the heavier rain, we're looking at maybe two to three inches. Uh, so that's where we've got that limited flood threat through Saturday, and you want to keep that in mind. Areas to the east could still get some locally heavy rain, just might not be as widespread. 87 degrees today, a mix of sun and clouds, a couple of spotty showers possible. 68 overnight. Those showers and storms roll through after midnight. They'll have some heavy rain and lightning. Then things become more scattered by tomorrow afternoon with that high of 84. Temperatures in the lower 80s Friday and Saturday setting up the same heavy rain threat and then the spotty storm threat in the afternoon. The better half of the weekend will be Sunday.